Okay, Spike, thanks very much for taking the time out, mate. Can you tell me a bit about this uh, shirt you're wearing? It's a Nickelback shirt, but I was taken by the, uh, the message on the back. Crew are people too. <laughs> Spike, can, um, can you tell me the significance of that? Well, the bottom line is uh, we're the bottom rung of the ladder. Uh, we're the blood, sweat and tears of the industry. Um, yeah, and a lot of times we don't get treated like people. Yeah, um, yeah. And you know, all the rock egos get in the way and all that sort of stuff. Who have you crewed for over the years, Spike? Oh, shit. I've been doing this for 30 odd years, mate. 30 um, Is that right? Yeah, pretty much everybody that's been to the entertainment centre for the last 25 years. Okay, have you done the Stones? Uh, yeah, twice. <laughs> What's that like? It's been incredible. Um, yeah. Well, it's all hard work for us, basically. Of course, of um, course. Yeah, but, um, yeah no, it's fun. You done Pearl Jam? Yeah, a few times. It's actually nearly warm with Pearl Jam shirt, actually. Uh, Is that right? But up there for this one, just for a change. No, they're my favourite band, mate. I've seen them every time they went to the entertainment centre. Um, but uh, tell me what some of the dangers are of, of crew. And, uh, I mean, no uh, doubt it's a pretty fraught job. Well, yeah, obviously we're always loading and unloading trucks. That's the biggest part. You know, people do get hurt in the back of the trucks. Mm. This is only a tiny one. You know, um, like uh, YouTube, people like that, they have 30, 40, 50 trucks. So, and, uh, yeah, it's a lot of stuff that's got to be got out and put in the building, basically. What's the worst story you've ever heard, mate, of a crew accident and uh, how bad does it get? Well, the worst one I actually witnessed was a front of house desk falling out of the back of the truck and a young fellow new on the job actually tried to stop it. Um, that's $120-odd thousand dollars worth of equipment, but it also weighs probably about 800 kilos, so he didn't do much job of stopping it. It nearly stopped him, actually. Um, he ended up in the hospital, busted leg, busted arm. Uh, it can be dangerous. Uh, obviously, people lose half a finger and stuff like that. What do you try and tell the young blokes coming through? Uh, listen, listen, watch and learn. It's uh, you know, pretty, pretty basic. Ask questions. It's actually run a current service by supply oh, labour right. to the industry. Right. And um, yeah, I'm just here to make it basically on this one. Um, my biggest concern at this point in time is the Blues Fest. Uh, we've got that going as we speak. Of course. And uh, got to pull all that out on Tuesday, uh, Wednesday. What are the fringe benefits of it, though? There must be some um, upsides in the sense of acts that you might have seen. Oh, you yeah. know, so, yeah. it's always the fringe benefits. Um, <laughs> you know, you, you score usually a T-shirt from the bigger shows, you know, so you can at least prove that you have done what you, know, you, you say you've done. Because uh, a lot of people go, oh yeah, I was a roadie too. You know, but, uh, get that, you get that a lot, especially in the pub scene. Yeah. yeah. Oh, mate, can we give you a hand? Oh, you was a roadie? Yeah, yeah, yeah you can give me a hand while staying out of my way. <laughs> That's uh, well said. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, it's, it's an industry that does sort of trap you, I know that. Is that right? Uh, tried to walk Hard away to leave? Yeah, and always end up back in it. Why? Well, what's that, mate? What's what's the what's the allure? It's what's not it's not nine to five. I'm not a nine to five person. Yeah. Um, yep. The work is you know, always something different. Yep. Um, you know, there's never two lighting shows put together the same way. For instance, you, know, you might be using the same gear, but it all gets to put together to a different plot. And uh, yeah, so there's the variety. Plus, you get to see a lot of the shows too, yeah. of course. Okay. What's the dream gig, mate, out there that? Uh the elusive dream gig that uh, you're hoping um, to tick for, off? For me, believe it or not, Foo Fighters, because I keep missing the bastards. Um, <laughs> like three times they've actually, the company I've been working for has put their show together and three times I've had to go somewhere else for a different show, so, and they are my favourite band of all time. So. Great. Mate, uh, what's your favourite crew joke, just finally? Uh, is, there, oh. is there a how many crew members does, does it take to uh, change a light bulb joke, anything like that? Or? Um, well, there's, there's one that uh, pays out on audio people, because, okay. you know, the old one-two lift. Well, soundies, they don't know how to lift because uh, they have to count to three, you know, to lift. Uh, <laughs> That's great. Um, uh, I think there's one, probably more about musicians than anything, you know, the old if a bass guitarist and a drummer fell out of a plane at the same time, which one would land first? Uh, there's a couple of different answers. One would be, who cares? Um, the second one would be, well, obviously the uh, drummer's going to land first because the bass player needs someone to follow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Spike, for your time, mate. No, and best no of luck with uh, you know all the future gigs. My no, pleasure. Cheers, mate.